Going big news from the Bills tonight. The team's defense just suffered another blow. 7 Eye Witness Sports Director Joe B is live from Pittsburgh. That's right, one of the team's best players, Marcel Darius, and one that the Bills were probably depending on to get them through all the other adversity of the summer, has now been suspended by the NFL for the first four games of the 2016 season. And this is not Darius' first suspension. In fact, it is his second one, and this time it's for violating the league's substance abuse policy. The defensive lineman, of course, missed the first game of the 2015 season following his run-in with the law in the summer of 2014. And now, according to Ian Rappaport of NFL.com, the upcoming four game ban is stemming from marijuana and even if it is legal in some states it is still a banned substance in the eyes of the National Football League. Darius's suspension was either for a failed or missed drug test according to that report. Darius is in the first year of a six year extension with the Bills worth almost 100 million over the duration of the deal and the Bills confirmed the suspension and said in a statement that they're very disappointed that Darius chose to put himself ahead of the rest of the team with that decision and Darius issued an apology on his Instagram account shortly before the announcement became official. And this is just one that goes on a very long list of things that have gone wrong for the Bills this offseason and, and, of course, this summer. And for more on that, we'll head inside to the studio to my colleague Nick Filipowski. Nick? Yeah, and Joe, you know, you'd really be hard-pressed to find a more tumultuous offseason than the one the Bills are going through right now. And it started all the way back at the draft and in organized team activities with first-round pick Shaq Lawson. He had a lingering shoulder issue from his days at Clemson. Everyone from the top down said he was fine, then he had surgery and could miss anywhere from six to eight games to start the season. Then their second round pick, Reggie Ragland, tears his ACL in practice a few weeks ago. He's done for the year. Aaron Williams battling back from neck surgery, now going through concussion protocol after a violent collision at practice. No timetable for his return. Mr. Big Stuff, as we just heard, out four games. Manny Lawson, one game suspension for reported domestic abuse. IKN and Polly no longer with the team after tearing his ACL. On the offensive side, it's not any better. Foot surgery for Sammy Watkins in the offseason. Carlos Williams, one of the worst offseasons of anybody. Overweight, violated the league's substance abuse policy. Four-game suspension and the O-line as I speak being duct taped together. Cordy Glenn and Richie Incognito currently not practicing as they continue to battle injuries. And Chantrell Henderson is still working back from Crohn's disease. This is not the offseason anyone envisioned or wished on the Bills. The Mountain to end a 16-year postseason drought only getting bigger. Nick Filipowski, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Joe. The Bills will be back on the field for preseason game number two on Saturday when they take on the Giants. Chevy countdown to kickoff begins at 3.30. The game starts at 4, followed immediately by the Bills postgame show. It is all this Saturday on 7ABC, your official station of the Buffalo Bills.